La radio des classiques du rock et de la pop. What's up, friends? Jason Newstead here. You are watching and listening to and enjoying Classic 21. Check it out! Newstead, c'est le nom d'un groupe. Derrière Newstead se cache Jason uh, Newstead. Uh, so you choose your name like the name of the band. Yes. Many reasons for this. The first one is, uh, this is the first band that I've put together in my entire career. So I've been at this about 32 years now. Every band that I joined, even all the way back to Flotsam and Jetsam, already existed when I joined. Metallica, Voivod, Echo Brain, Ozzy, Government, all these bands existed and I came in as the new blood, the new engine, the new energy to each of those outfits. This is the first time that I chose the members of the band And I wrote the songs top to bottom, programmed the drums and the, uh, everything, and the lyrics and my voice and everything appropriately, my name this time. In addition to that, I had a band called Echo Brain who went through a lawsuit from a band called Echo Drain and lost a lot of money and that kind of ugliness. And there's been that kind of ugliness throughout my career with Metallica too. I wanted to make sure I came up with something that no one could sue me for. So all the, many reasons, but those are two main ones. Donc voilà, en fait, euh, il avait. Euh, C'est la première fois qu'il va vraiment fonder un, un groupe à lui. Auparavant, il a toujours rejoint des groupes qui existaient auparavant. Il a joué dans Metallica, il a joué euh, au sein de, du groupe d'Audi Osborne, il a joué avec Vovoy aussi. Et donc, tous ces groupes existaient auparavant. Il avait envie vraiment de, de créer sa, sa propre création. Puis, il a eu euh, pas mal d'histoires de procès avec euh, un ancien groupe euh, et puis aussi avec Metallica. Et donc, il voulait euh, avoir son projet à lui pour éviter aussi tout genre d'ennuis de, avec des procès et ce genre de choses. Effectivement, il parle de deux groupes éphémères en 2002-2004, Echo Brain et Echo Drain, qui ont, sont des projets qui n'ont pas vraiment eu une, une issue heureuse. Voilà, mm -hmm. donc maintenant, Newstead. Donc vous avez ce, ce premier album qui va arriver, qui s'appelle Heavy Metal Music. C'est une très très bonne surprise, qu'on a écouté euh, pas mal d'extraits. Euh, et euh, qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire en fait de la création de cet album so, You have uh, this new album coming called Heavy Metal Music, uh, which is a very good surprise. We are, uh, it, it's really great, uh, great album. Uh, what can you tell us about the making of, of this album? Uh, this is put together pretty quickly, actually. I wrote demos last September and October 2012. Went together uh, in the studio with Jesus Mendez Jr. and Jesse Farnsworth. The three of us made the metal EP, which is four songs. The first 20 minutes released in January, number one at iTunes. Everything starts falling from the sky. They start booking tours and all these kind of things. Mike Mushak joins our band in February. So our band is four people made the LP, Heavy Metal Music, in about a three-week period. Our band's only actually been together, as it is now, for just over four months. So things are moving very quickly. And this is our last show of our festival run tonight. We've been out for a couple months now. Um, we head right back to the States and get on Gigantour, do all that kind of stuff, and very busy, busy, busy thing. So I basically, the three of us made the metal EP, the four of us made the heavy metal music LP from the seeds I created from demos. Donc voilà un processus assez euh, rapide. Ils ont commencé à faire des démos en septembre, octobre. Au début, ils étaient trois musiciens. Euh, là, après, ils ont sorti un EP qui a, qui a cartonné sur iTunes. Ils ont été premiers. Puis euh, de ce premier EP, ils sont passés à quatre musiciens. Ils ont commencé à travailler sur, euh, sur un album. Et, et donc là, euh, les choses vont très vite. Ils sont sur leur dernière, tour, euh, enfin, leur dernière date de la tournée euh, européenne. Et après, ils vont partir aux états unis Et donc les choses se passent très vite et, et s'installent pour Newstead, qui est vraiment un projet euh, qui semble bien parti. Là. C'était le Metal Hippie dont on a pas mal parlé euh, via Classic 21 dans, dans Hell's Bells. Et effectivement, c'est du heavy euh, metal euh, pur euh, jus. So, you play true heavy metal. That's right. Only... It's a, a, authentic, old school heavy metal music. I think there how many people that we look at in the genre that I'm a part of, 250 of us maybe invented this music. Right? I get to be one of those guys. So all over all these years, all the experiences that I've had with the bands that we're speaking of now, um, this is a culmination of all those experiences. I finally get a chance to blah, and spit it all back out and play for people what I know best. I've tried many other styles, Echo Brain, Government Mule, DJ Shadow, all these different things like this. But I am metal. I am the metal kid in here. You know, 19-year-old metal kid right in here. And that's all. That hasn't changed. So that's the only way I really know how to play. And it is honest, 
The word is authenticity, right? It's pure, it's genuine, there's no frills. It's kind of like Ramones, man. Let the music do the talking, the purity, just rock. Voilà, l'authenticité, c'est le, le maître mot de, de ce nouvel album. Euh, comme il disait, c'est du euh, metal old school. Et en fait, il a vraiment combiné toutes les expériences euh, de ses passages dans les différents groupes qu'on a cités auparavant. Il a vraiment mélangé tout ça pour créer euh, un album authentique, réel. Euh, et c'est peut-être aussi pour ça qu'il a choisi un nom aussi simple que Heavy Metal Music. That maybe because you choose such a simple name as Heavy Metal Music to, to say it's very direct in a way. That's correct. In my uh, first bit of my adult life, you know, age 23 to 38, I was in this band called Metallica. And I was taught and conditioned to look with a global view. Metallica was World Wide Web before there was a World Wide Web. You know, there was always that outlook that we play for the world, not just North America or United States. You know, mm -hmm. that's how I was taught. And now it's even more important in the day in technology and everything that we look at globally. No matter what language, dialect, whatever you speak, heavy metal music means heavy metal music, no matter what accent you have. Donc voilà, il a, il a insisté sur le côté euh, absolument international. Il était dans Metallica quand il était très jeune et c'était une musique qui touchait tout le monde, qui passait au-delà des différences de langage, au-delà des différences de culture. Et donc c'est un, un langage universel qui s'appelle le heavy metal, la musique heavy metal qui parle à tout le monde et qui passe au-dessus de tout.